so much mud. Yeah, no big deal, just touch it, touch it, that's what, what you can see. Oh no! <laughs> I think 45, not bad.
Before we start, small disclaimer, in this episode you will see only half potential of the Z-Bike, so 50% of the power, because I've got only one stock battery, which is even not powerful enough for one motor. So when I'm hitting full throttle on two motors, the voltage of the battery is dropping so badly that it's showing on dashboards 0% battery left. Well, it's happening because this battery cannot provide enough amperage, so I have to be super gentle with the throttle in this episode. Because if I will overheat battery, then Sophie can melt inside and we'll have some fire on board, which I would like to avoid. But no worries, in next episode I will show you how to add extra battery and all will be forgiving. You will see full potential of the Z-Bike, but yeah, in this case I have to be super gentle. Now is this crazy part. Let's turn on rear motor and turn on front motor. Let's set to 5 level and we can do even burnout. <laughs> <laughs> two wheel drive acceleration test. Three, two, one, half throttle. <laughs> Still half throttle. Uh, voltage drops so badly. From 50 something to 40 something. High speed 45. Not bad. Now only front motor acceleration. Three, two, one. Full throttle. Uh, it's way less powerful than two wheel drive. Only rear motor acceleration. Full throttle. Oh man, this is slow. This is like grandma speed. Let's turn on two motors. <laughs> Now we're talking. It will be good test. No pedal assist, just two wheel drive on fat bike. A little bit of the throttle. Sandy, muddy. I just touchy touchy the throttle. Just touchy touchy. Plenty of power. On one wheel drive, it could be not that easy. Oh man. So much mud. Yeah, no big deal, just touch it, touch it at the throttle, as you can see. Oh no! <laughs> Fallen tree, we can do something like this. Two is drive and... <laughs> Easy. So, do I am enjoying two is drive? To be honest, this is the best upgrade for e-bikes i done so far. It was kind of cheap because front motor was like $300, controller was like $35 and actually that's it. So this is the best upgrade I've done so far. Fat bike feels like three times more powerful. The only thing which I have to do in next episode is extra battery which will cost me maybe like $400 because I will use 21700 cells and then you will see full potential of the Z-Bike, so full throttle and no worries that the battery will just die like in this case. I just touch the full throttle and front controller disconnect the power. Are you okay? Let's find it out. Whoa. So far, so good. Let's turn on front motor to be easier to get out from this hole. Come on. Now two is drive is super handy. Fat bike is in good condition. Nothing but happened, even from this side. So yeah, don't forget to turn off the cruising mode. Otherwise, when you will reset the throttle, the wheels will still spinning, which is kind of bad as you saw. Faster, faster! <laughs> two is drive. Oh man, here is Sandy. It's really Sandy. And it's very bumpy. No big deal. So yeah, it was a really fun episode. 
it's super easy to make two wheel drive fat bike as you saw it's super easy just be careful when you are connecting the wires and all will be forgiven yeah you saw even big crash which this e-bike survived so i am pretty impressed about angry i forgot that it will break at half but yeah it's pretty good so far just stock battery it's really not full enough for two motors so in next episode i will show you how to add second motor i will even show you how to make it one so i will buy some good 21 700 battery cells with great lifespan i will make some adapter to mount battery over here on the top part of the frame and we will unleash full power from this fat bike but all this in next episode if you have any questions leave it in comment section i will back to you and try to help now i will back to home buy some cookies pizza and i will try to rest for some time see you in next one <laughs> yeah that was fun that was fun